Um, what I think a first edition does, it does a couple things. One is, for me, at least when I was starting to collect, it was something that was representative of me and where I was at a certain place in my life and who I was when I read it. And then, and we all kind of grow and change over time. So I've come back to certain novels, reread them and had wildly different experiences with them. And that's, you know, some of the joy of art is how it, how it affects you and how that your impressions change over time. What you can take from it changes over time. I mean, I think great art across the board will provide that kind of experience for people. Um, the, the experience of reading a book in, in the first edition, I think is interesting in a number of different ways. I mean, I know I've talked to certain collectors and they say, I really, you know, we have people who read the books that they buy from us and it's sort of this, you know, pleasure and privilege for them to be able to buy a first edition and they have a book they want to read and so they'll, they'll you know, have an, the next one on their list, I'm going to buy this, can you find me a first edition, we do it. But it's something like Dickens was originally issued in monthly parts. So we had someone who said, oh, I really want Dickens in parts because that's how the first people read it. You know, when they were reading Dickens, they would receive these little, you know, there were 19 uh, little pamphlets, basically, that each had two chapters that were shipped out um, every couple of weeks. And so someone would basically receive the next installment of the story. And they'd always end on sort of a cliffhanger. So you had to get the next one and read the next one. But you know, that's a very different way of reading Dickens than sitting down with a big, heavy novel, um, the way most of us read it in high school. It's sort of, you know, having these little breaks and getting these little snippets of the story. Um, so I think there is something different, certainly in reading a book in a first edition, and I think the other thing too is, is trying to come to it fresh. Um, come to it in a sense that you're not, um, you're not bringing all of everything that's been written before about Charles Dickens or about his, you know, some novel. You're not bringing every criticism or preconception about what that book should be. You can come into it in a sense kind of with a blank canvas and say, what is this book going to be for me, if that makes sense. So I think one of the things that's fun about it is sort of that, you know, taking that extra leap of saying, well, this is, you know, I can reread this in a sense almost the same way the first person read this book. Uh -huh. 